In this lesson, you will learn how to set the field to read only based on a condition in a similar way as you have done in ALMQC. First, let's find out how this was done in ALMQC. Let's log in, select the project. And now I'm here in the defect module and I would like to set the field category, for instance, to read only. Yeah, so in order it is not changeable. And after we have done this, um, also it should be based on a condition. So for all the defects which are opened or in state opened, um, this field should become read only. So let's see how this is achieved. Let's go to customize, to workflow, and now script editor. So now we are in the script editor. We need to do it on the defect entity, means we need to go to the defect module script. And we would like to do it on the existing entity, so it should be on the method um, bug underscore move to. And let's do it now. So we look for the bug field. And here we need to um, look for BG user and now look for the category. Is a BG user 05 field. And now look for the property is read only. And here we just say true. So basically, with this, we have uh, set the field to read only. And now we need to apply a condition as well. So let's do it. If um, bug fields again, um, let's look for BG status, which is the status of that defect value equals open then and here we can go to the next line and if and this one you can just indent so this is it i think we have now put the condition when this field category should be moved to read only so currently here in um, qc i need to also uh, say this is field re field category yeah? in order for me to know also after a week what this field was now let's save it and go back and see if this is working so i'm returned on the project so let's first go in the project and now i can see that this one is read only i cannot change it because the phase is different let's move it to fixed yeah we have here on a fixed defect i can change it i can change it on the closed defect this is fine and i can also change it on other status like new and so on so this is fine let's see if it's working on the grid so i can i'm here on the new defect i can change it i am on the fixed defect i can change it and on the open defect I cannot change it. So this is how it was done in ALMQC through customization and script editor. Let's see how this is done in ALM Octane. So now let's go first to the defect module to identify what we want to do. So we can see here we have different uh, defects and we have a field called defect type. It's not the same like category, but the uh, approach will be the same. Here, this is, I can modify it um, based, yeah, currently it's uh, modifiable. Uh, on each status, I can change it. And I would like to do it read only, only for opened and all other state, it should be editable. So let's see how this is achieved in ALM Octane. We need to go to the settings administration of spaces so here make sure the right project is selected select the correct entity and now on the rules add a new business rule the action to be selected is make read only so just type in read only and here we can select the field defect type 
but also we can also uh, select here additional fields like outdoor uh, i can go for blocked and the field i would like to put to read only but let's stick to the same like we did in qc so just defect type like this this should be um, set to read only and now we put the condition condition is face should be open so let's say face equals opened and that should be it so let's apply it save it and go back to your workspace and see if this is working so now i'm in the workspace let's first go into the details on the details i can see here the defect type field i can open it because i'm in the duplicate phase here i'm in phase in fixed defect type is editable now i'm in open and defect type i cannot edit anymore so here it is working in the details let's see if it is also working in the grid so i'm currently on the fixed defect here on the duplicate defect and here on the new defect uh, on the open defect i cannot modify it so a very simple approach to really apply the workflow configuration you need to do in lmqc or you were used to do in lmqc now it's much easier using the business rules and one of the great advantage of business rules is that it is executed on server side and um, it does not apply any uh, issues or involve any issues on the client side so it is really server side driven and uh, completely independent what is happening on the client